You. All right, so what happens now? Could the investigations lead to sanctions or repercussions for Rollins? We know she's going to be leaving her position. WBZ Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiendaka, who is also a lawyer, is looking at that tonight. Cheryl? Well, Lisa and David, the violations have been sent to the president for action. But as you pointed out, since Rollins plans to resign as a federal employee this week, that would end the possibility of any disciplinary action. This alleged conduct is disturbing to say the least. Massachusetts U.S. Attorney Rachel Rollins now facing allegations about her own conduct in two scathing federal investigations that found she leaked sensitive Department of Justice information to journalists, lied to investigators, and violated the law by going to a Democratic fundraiser to meet Jill Biden. The total up to what one might call abuse of power. George Brown is the former chair of the Massachusetts Ethics Commission. Uh, I think when you get in those kind of high offices, there's a feeling that you can kind of get away with stuff that uh, ordinary people maybe can't. The 155-page Inspector General's report says Rollins was interviewed under oath and lacked candor. Blamed her staff for her own ethics failures that the IG called deeply disturbing. Exercised poor judgment and violated ethics standards by going on paid trips that were not disclosed or approved. The IG is exceptionally harsh. Uh, in their uh, condemnation of, uh, of her conduct. Equally harsh was the special counsel's report that blasted Rollins for meddling in the Suffolk County District Attorney's race, calling her actions among the most egregious transgressions of the law and an extraordinary abuse of her authority. That case has been referred to the president for appropriate action. It's not clear what, if any, sanctions will be laid down and by whom uh, one might say she's paid the ultimate price uh, she's resigned uh, a very prestigious public office uh, uh, under a very serious cloud and while it appears Rollins cannot be disciplined for the violations this investigation could lead to rewriting of federal policies and guidelines Lisa it sounds like there's more to come Cheryl thank you